So good morning. My name is Jonna Mazet. I'm a forum member, uh, UC Davis, director of the One Health Institute. And from a pandemic preparedness perspective, I'm the global director for the USAID-funded PREDICT project. And uh, my job today is just to get us oriented to a larger group discussion. I think um, the forum team has worked really hard to uh, respond and adjust to, uh, I guess, the ideas and desires for this collaborative kind of interaction that, that our, our structure doesn't always lend itself to. We saw people trying to get their questions in in the last session, and um, it's sort of more formal. And so uh, in the spirit of taking your brilliant minds and all of you experts in the room and interested folks coming from other agencies that want to be prepared. Um, we wanted to have table discussions uh, and then share those in a broader group discussion uh, in order to really uh, capture the energy and brilliance that you all have to give. Um, and so if if we could just reflect back, we had some some clearly leaders in the world talking to us in the last section on, on a similar same kind of theme that we want to uh, engage on together at the tables right now. And as Julie sort of self-admittedly said she was agitated about, um, she wanted to make sure that we not wait for Mother Nature to present us with the deadly, rapidly human-to-human -human spreading threat before we're ready. So, um, so no pressure but it's on you to come up with all of the recommendations to keep us from happening, that happening, yeah? Um, okay, but a couple of common themes that came uh, out of the panel. We heard that uh, we need to make sure there's budget. We need to make sure that there's budget to make these things happen. Um, and, and another common theme was support for a strong WHO and global institutions to help facilitate um, and, and then also building the political will, including at the local level. And I think that was really, really important. And on that level, um, we heard that we should be using and publicizing data and evidence, telling our stories in a more compelling way, have similar fora and workshops at state, local levels, educating um, local communities about the impacts of outbreaks and equipping those communities with the information, knowledge, and knowledge to enable them to act using trusted community agents. And I think those are some really interesting, the, the whole social media piece of how we might do that well if we plan rather than having it uh, work against um, good coordinated efforts if we don't. Um, so we need a, need a concept of health security and preparedness that makes sense at the local, national, regional, global level. Um, and we need to build the capacity and systems. I think I, I liked what Peter had to say about fighting important endemic diseases, but while we're doing that, we're building the trust and the systems so that we have systems in place that the community is willing to use um, when the emergency strikes so that we can get to ending the cycle of panic and neglect. So to that end, don't forget to pick up the commissioned paper if you haven't already. We really think that a lot of hard work has gone into this commissioned paper. We'd like you to um, review that. And at this point, we're going to start the, the table discussion. Again, if you're not, is everybody at a table? Anybody not at a table? If you're not at a table, there are a couple empty seats. Just get around a table. Um, the table discussions will be led by moderators, and we have everybody listed here. So you should see um, we have Kent, Elizabeth, Emily, Raphael, Suri, Jay, and Jen are going to be there uh, to help moderate, but they are not the repartors, and they are not going to be speaking out in the last section. We are going to want to hear from you all, but we'd like you to think of two, three, or four, you know, actually substantive recommendations that you can make. That, as, as Peter reminds us, these will not be recommendations of the National Academies, but they will be your recommendations um, that will be commemorated uh, in the report from this workshop. So this is, your, this is your prompt. What are the actions and strategies that need to be prioritized to systemize and integrate outbreak and pandemic preparedness so it is routine and not extraordinary, part of government and other organizational activities at the global, 
national, local, private, and private sector level. So with that, please go to it. And um, we will, I'll give you kind of a, a, a five or seven minute warning of when you need to be consolidating your recommendations so that we can uh, discuss those as a group. And then we'll have a group discussion. Thanks. Well, 25, 30 minutes, maybe more, depending on how you're doing. We'll, we'll watch you. But, um, but we've, we've had to reduce to about a half an hour for getting all the discussions going so that we can get together as a bigger group. Okay, thank you.